Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. I am back. Can you believe it? I was gone for a little over a week. Where was I? Well, I got in trouble. Got in trouble with the law. Um, the law, the, the YouTube law. That's right. I was a, I was being bad. I was being rebellious. Which I don't think I was really. I think I was framed. It was a, it was a conspiracy against me. I know you guys ratted me out. I'm not gonna forget it. No, not really. Um, what really would happen was I really did get in trouble by, by the YouTube police, um, because I uh, was talking about it was actually I had two offenses. I had one offense, why well back again, uh, well back maybe like six months ago. I was talking about a subject matter that apparently is prohibited to talk about. And then I talked about another subject matter uh, just like two weeks ago, and apparently you're not supposed to talk about that either. It's like Fight Club. Some things you don't talk about. And uh, there's two subject matters. There were different subject matters that are on their no talk list. I wasn't promoting anything. I wasn't agreeing with anything. I was just questioning some things. And then and I don't really, I don't know if I really, well, I kind of do and I kind of don't. It wasn't like YouTube. So somebody there said, we got to get that dude. He's saying some improper things. I, you know, they, they're, there's too many videos being uploaded. They're, people cannot check out all of them. So they're using computers and algorithms to, to pick out key phrases. If you're saying this, then and it has a combination with this word or somewhere in the video, then you get flagged. And apparently, I think, I want to believe that's what happened to me. I got flagged because I was talking about some stuff. And I even talked about conspiracies behind the stuff, but I didn't say I believed in those conspiracies. That's where I think that, that got me screwed because I mentioned conspiracy theories, but I didn't say I believed them. I actually said that I didn't believe them. But nonetheless, nonetheless, I can't even tell you, I'm afraid to even use the words of why I got suspended or the subject matters that got me suspended because I don't want to get suspended again. I want to be here forever. I'm very upset though because I like, I like the idea of Paul's take on any given subject matter and talk about anything in the world. Well, apparently, this is not the platform for that. This is the platform for doing, you know, product reviews, vacation pictures and videos, uh, me going off-roading, more like a lot of off-roading adventures. Very, very clean. But, you know, realistically, there, there, there's very much other people posting stuff, and they're being very critical, and, there's, and it's like stuff that's, you know, I guess kind of uh, cutting edge or 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 could be could be interpreted as politically incorrect or whatever but i guess apparently it doesn't matter if those if those certain subject matters are not triggered in, in certain like i said in my case they were triggered so there's far more crazy things out there there's more crazy things that i've done out there but these ones got flagged which is annoying because now you're like walking on eggshells you don't want to talk about if you want to talk about anything you can't do that here so but don't be discouraged. I know, to tell you the truth, I didn't, most of my followers didn't follow my conspiracy theories anyways. But if you do like my conspiracy theories, I, I'm not gonna stop doing them. I'm just not gonna do them here on YouTube where this is gonna be rated G only, big time G content. Which is funny because I'm seeing a lot more uh, hoochie mama stuff on YouTube. I didn't ever saw before, but I don't know why, but I'm seeing whenever I'm flipping through my stuff, there's a lot of hoochie stuff going on. And I'm like, how's that on YouTube? And my stuff is not. It's, it's not fair, I tell you. That's that's kind of risque. My stuff is not. I keep my shirt, my collar up real tight, real high. No, no, no flesh here. Uh, but anyway, so if you want to listen to my conspiracy theories or me being completely free to talk about anything, there's only one place for it, and that's podcasting. Don't Twitter it. Don't Facebook it, podcast. So far, anyways, I've been testing my theory on podcasting and talking about crazy stuff just to see if I get flagged. And so far, so good, no flags. So that's free game. And uh, I'm still getting, if you're worried about compensation, well, I'm still getting a little bit of, I'm still getting some over on, on podcasting as well. My podcasts don't do nearly as well as my YouTube channel. But my podcast, I haven't really put as much effort into it lately. Now, granted, the last week that I've been gone, 
that's all I've been doing is podcasting. So I got a lot of new material out there that uh, if you want to, you know, if you're interested, check it out. It's really fun too. I mean, podcasting is different because I don't got to check my hair. I don't have to worry about what I'm wearing or my surroundings. I can talk anywhere I want to. I have a thought in my head, a twisted thought. I can go ahead and do a podcast. So most of my stuff, I would say, is conspiracy theory, but I do some stuff that are just straight out goofy and silly and fun about subject matters that I probably couldn't talk about here. So it's fun. So if you're, uh, if you're interested, I'll, send a, I'll put a link below on where I actually do the podcast. They actually have a service. But apparently you can listen to my podcast pretty much anywhere that they play podcast. Except iHeartRadio. I don't know why, but right now at this time, you can't hear my stuff on iHeartRadio, but you can hear it on Apple, whatever it is, podcast, whatever they got. And uh, and other places that have podcasts. There's apparently a lot of places because it shows on my viewers, like all these different places and others, and there's a lot of views from other places that I have no idea where those other places are. So... But the easy way is just to follow my link. And it's Paul's Take. How original, just like here. So Paul's Take, um, if you go anywhere you want, do you normally play podcasts, you can try to find it. Paul's Take. I gotta work on my picture. I haven't really put much effort into the screenshot, the thumb shot. It's not the same as what it is here. Maybe, I, maybe I'll do that. Maybe so that way you guys will know. Easier to find. Hey, that's, that's, I recognize that thumbprint, whatever it's called, the picture. So we'll do that uh, short enough, but it's fun. They're quick. I try to make them short, short and sweet. Some podcasts I hear other people are like hours long and just to like, uh, that way you don't waste of time. I make them really short, like five, 10 minutes long, maybe 12. I'm doing that on purpose. So whenever I get a thought, I can just do a quick pot that podcast. You don't have to listen to a bunch of stuff to get to the good stuff. It's short, more, more uh, compact with good stuff and less but less fluff, less fill-in, all right? And maybe if it gets popular and people want more demand, maybe I'll make it longer. But for now, short pieces on Paul's Take Podcast. Everything, there's, there's, it can be anything. There's no, uh, no limits, no restraints. Freedom, freedom, I love it. It's so cool. My stuff is pretty clean anyways, it's clean. I just like to, I like to push the ideas in your head. Question, you expand your mind and kind of twist in your reality. Because some people are very rigid. I like to kind of pull on them rigid cords to make you more flexible, make you think about things. Alrighty, well, anyways, I'm glad to be back. We'll do some videos real quick. I, uh, if you guys are like into my my, my uh, Jeep Liberty stuff, I got a lot of new uh, mods. Well, I got some mods. I got some more mods. I did some more things to my vehicle, which I will be doing a video as soon as possible. I'm, I'm going to try to actually do better content on my YouTube page. More quality, less quantity. Because I was doing, trying to do one every day before. So now I think I'm gonna do less, but uh, but do better. So everything that comes out, besides this video here, because <laughs> I wanna let you know what was going on, I'm gonna try to do better content. I'm gonna try to up my quality. Um, and I have some ideas why. Which, for one, daylight savings will help me a lot because I'll have daytime. Like right now it's night, but this time next week, it'll be daylight. And I could use a lot more stuff in the daylight, that's gonna help the quality of the videos by a lot. And I got a new camera, which I'm using right now with great sound. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna do better quality. I noticed that for some reason, I noticed that my uh, my view count didn't really drop on the week I didn't put anything out there. So, let me kinda go, hmm, that's weird. Um, so, maybe YouTube was being nice and channeling more people towards my, my site since I was gone, but if that's the case, then I will probably, like I said, not, if that's the case, it continues. I'll do less, but try to do better. All right, see how that goes. And I'll try to do podcasts. I'm gonna try to do podcasts every day because they're fun. All right, and I can talk about anything. So thanks for watching Paul's Take, and make sure you check out my podcast. Thanks again for watching Paul's Take.